Well, I have driven past this place three times and I'm going to stop in this time, I said to myself. So Jude and I came in and have not been disappointed. It's got these big tyres out the front saying free camping and you go past it and you think, oh, it looks completely abandoned. Well, it is. And you're kind of thinking, what happened? It looks like people have just up and left. I'm in the, um, the shed, the garage, and um, some campers and things have gone and put their little uh, thank you for the stay in bits and pieces. It's a donation camp. You can leave a donation over here in this big little uh, rectangular object here. Um, and there's um, a little bit of explanation on, of what they've got, but it's, um, excuse the flies, it's a, uh, still a, um, very much a working um, farm on uh, wheat and canola and other things. And uh, I think there's one or two uh, livestock around too. Um, it's a five generations family and they've um, moved into other premises. These premises I believe were used by some of the, um, the staff, the employees, until they became rack and ruin. And the lovely people have just left the place as it was so that you could get sort of like a taste of the era back in, I don't know, well the building was built back in the 1950s, the land was cleared. I'm pretty sure it was occupied up until, oh, it must have been late 80s or something. I can't put my finger on it. But um, yeah, I'll share with you what it's all about. Right, so that's the shed behind me there, and there's a key that you can grab at a certain location and pop inside and have a look at this. Here we go. So, first, I'm not too sure what you're greeted with down in here. It looks like just a spare room, or uh, there's no, it kind of looks like a kitchen, but there's no sink or anything, so probably a cloakroom or something. And then in here, you've got uh, probably one of the offices that uh, used to do all the figures and bits and pieces for the day. And a brief description on the family and what they were up to. So, um, I, it's quite in depth. Um, I believe one of the members, members of the family had a big interest in um, the opal up in Cooper Pedy and um, also um, a, a big love for flying, so uh, had opal ear and did a lot of scenic flights and uh, work. And being a, a pilot, he was only just a, um, a few minutes or an hour or something to fly from Cooper Pedy down to here and uh, be part on the farm. But uh, yeah, some really interesting photos and uh, a bit of history of the place. And as I say, things just like, oof, I've just walked out and left things as they are. So coming into the kitchen, I'll tell you what, you're greeted by um, a very, very cool, cool room. I believe it's uh, there's some limestone or something. But you look at this, all the stuff back in the, the era of, um, oh, well, it's definitely 50s when it was built, but um, a lot of it's sort of looking about 80s. Um, little uh, table down here where you can um, say you've arrived a guest book and then we come into the lounge and some older type chairs should I take my glasses off so there you go, the old, the old um, cabinets and things and then through to the hallway where you got the old uh, where you got the Spare room, probably for some of the kids or something, by looks the way it's set up. Through to the bathroom. The old um, telephone down here. It's a push button, not a rotary dial. It is modern. 
and then um, up through to the front room into the main bedroom. As I say, beds made, old fashioned heater down there. There's even clothes in the wardrobes. It's just, it's amazing. Um, it's just step back in history and time. I say, great to sort of, uh, there's some people of my era and bits and pieces that can understand a lot of this stuff, but there'll be a lot of stuff that wouldn't know uh, with some people. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty retro. So that's inside. Have a look around outside. One of the old implement sheds down here at the, the Korma View homestead. Uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, tools and um, machinery that was probably used to do a lot of running repairs out here. A few little carts here with uh, fuel, obviously lots of tyres, and I believe the old international down here. This has done obviously a lot of work on the farm. Um, you can tell with all the fencing gear and stuff on the back there. But it's also done, um, I saw a photo they mentioned that this thing spent a bit of time in Cooperpedia as well doing some of the opal stuff. So, yep, it's actually uh, here, uh, resting here until uh, somebody finds a nice restoration project or something. Probably the rest of the place, although I don't like the uh, look of this one. We didn't park too close to this one. We're way over the other side of the homestead, wherever uh, over there you can see us. Road's a little close, but uh, should be fairly quiet. That's just about it. Here we have it, a bit of the old rundown of the old Korma View Homestead, the Matthews family. Thank you very much to them for having this available for us travellers to come through and experience the farming life way back then. And, um, and also uh, out to those travellers that do come here, just respect the place. Uh, follow their instructions, make sure doors are closed that you've opened um, and you know, leave things there, don't go pinching anything um, and yeah, just respect, especially to the bush and the trees and things around, don't go hacking them down and they should, places like this should be around for ages for us and yeah, quite a time capsule as long as the building stands up and this one. <laughs> That's us uh, until our next little uh, adventure down the road and uh, we'll uh, stay tuned.